Are you ready? All right. Are you focused? I'm coming. Tell me to come. I'm gonna come. Okay, come. Am I wearing it right? <laughs> Colt Hut Magi. Colt Hut Magi. Okay, the stupid hat's gotta go. This is me. This is what they asked for. <laughs> this, this assignment was not on the. Can you can you fix my hood? Can you fix the hood part? Yeah. Sestral. Sestral. Am I saying that right? Sestral. Sestral. Sexual. Not sexual. No, the hood. Get the hood up. Hood up. Okay, with this sacrifice, we shall. Ow! It doesn't fit, that's what I'm saying. You're gonna have to wear a nail. I don't want that. No. Yeah. I don't love that. Okay. With this sacrifice, we shall be. Yeah! Fuck me! Yeah. Okay, hey, where'd he go? <laughs> Me and this guy, you're my baby. This is blue. And I'm taking it seriously too. You're lucky I'm not like one of them sand warriors. Uh, 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 uh. You know what I'm talking about. I, I gotta get the funny out. I'm a comedy horror guy, you know what I mean? Ash. <laughs> rethink. <laughs> rethink marrying you. <laughs> Haha, I don't have my phone. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Thank God. Okay, it's in my back Magi pocket. Magi. So hi, I'm Zach. What? Yeah, sounds off. How you doing? You want to do intros here? I'm fine with doing intros here. Focus it. I'm in line. I don't know how I'm gonna get these lines up. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. All right, what's up? Zach from Haunters Podcast. I'm here at Red Vein Haunt, Ashland, Virginia. You're getting a little behind the scenes right now. As you can see, number one, he says, and I believe it, it's number one in our hearts and here. So, I am a scare actor tonight. This isn't my normal garb. What's up, Brooke? Brooke's over there. Tonight I am scare acting, and I am so excited because I have been on this journey for three hours today. This is the most excited I've been in months. Hunter's podcast is going out with a bang. The hunter is finally a hunter. And tonight we're going to do it. Matt Wade's doing the shooting. Thank Hi. you, Matt. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, hey bud. Directing, guys. He's a director. And this is us. Here we are in my veins, too. Zach, boo to you. It's uh, a great part. <laughs> Right. And then after you, they're going to go to the church, which is really scary. Yes, yes, the church is very scary. Okay, okay, okay. I can rock I on this. The church, that animatronic scared me so yes. bad every time I was in there. Celestial. Celestial. Yeah, alien. Alien. Yeah. Alien Lord. I could just say alien Lord and not fumble the fuck out of it. Your world will burn. Yeah, burn. And we shall dance in the light of the flames. <laughs> Give it to me. You look just like Liam O'Brien from Critical Role. I don't know this. Huh? I wish I knew what you're talking about. That's how nerdy I am. Critical Role, it's a uh, live play, Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, wow. Actors. Oh, wow. Okay. Watch it, Watch it on Okay. YouTube. Critical. I swear to God, one of the players looks like you. Just like me. Just like me. Yes. All right. You got that. Well, that's a different step than I'm Matt Damon, but thanks. Your sacrifice will shield us from the apocalypse. See, I got this shit. 
Your world will burn. And we shall dance on the lights of flames. <laughs> Here to party, pal. Checking in. Is this my mask? I don't have enough mask. Is that the mask? Um, okay, you are. A magi. No. Hot magi. Cold. Hot. Witch hut, right? Huh? You're in the witch hut. I'm. I'm in the woods. Yeah, That's but, all. Uh, yeah. Cold hot magi. Cold hut. Magi. That's that one up there. <laughs> Which I can't reach right now. Alright. I don't love it. I don't love the responsibility I'm getting. And this is only the finest of fasteners. So right. you can actually adjust it if it gets a little bit too Like long. a hat! I can wear it backwards exactly. like my ball caps. Exactly. <laughs> um, so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to get used to it. Yeah. Like it. Do I still get makeup? Is yeah, this, do I get makeup? They're going to probably put some around your eyes. Uh, maybe a little bit around your mouth. Holy shit, I could really wear this as a ball cap. That's amazing. I can't breathe in this thing. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Close down a little bit more so eye holes. I'm trying to see. There you go. They just pull it down just a little bit more like that. So they're going to have to probably black out your eyes a little bit and they're going to black out around your mouth. Oh, okay. Just uh, and probably hip back in your, you know, here a little bit, you know. Gotcha. All right. Sick. Oh, I'm going to blow it hard tonight. <laughs> this is the worst idea I've ever had. <laughs> I made a huge mistake. <laughs> Sorry, bud. So you have to have a really fun spot. Huh? You have a really fun spot. Really? You look out, there's a... Uh, Big skeleton on that smoke. Yes. Yeah, yes. His, his name is Bob. Oh, yeah. Oh, Bob. Yeah. Me and Bob are going to oh, hang out. Bobby Q. <laughs> Thank you, man. Why did I do this? Like I'm all out backwards. I can wear it backwards. Son of a bitch wax. Hazel crystals. All right, so now I'm really nervous. Like before I was just nervous. Now that I'm really petrified, this is going to be bad. <laughs> I'm going to ruin this heart. Ah, Christ. Where's my pockets? Fuck the lines. I don't need them now. Oh my god, man. Why did you say yes? Why did you say yes? And why did they give me this roll? I'm fucking petrified. My whole body's shaking. <sighs> Sweating. The black's not going to stay on my eyes because I sweat so much. I'm gonna go blind. <laughs> God. I'm gonna get caught on fire. I am the sacrifice. I'm sweating on a $10,000 camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, yeah, 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 it works. Thanks. Yeah. I probably should have brought baby wipes or like. Hey, Ryan. You'll, you'll be fun going to sheets after. <laughs> yeah. G give me a goddamn sub. <laughs> it's for the Lord, motherfucker. All right. So where do I need to go now? 
I wish I could go in my pocket. I can't, can't fucking get in my pocket. Oh, stand by. Yeah, that's doing good. I'm gonna forget every fucking line. Queen on our flock. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, young sires. <laughs> oh, oh, he's doing his line. Oh, a queen with her flock, a king with his fine teeth. They paved the way for the celestial lords. Your sacrifice will be shielding us from the apocalypse. <laughs> and we will dance of the light of the flames. I know the lines, fucker. Oh, be safe. Good luck. Good luck tonight. Be safe. Good luck. Uh, all this ain't happening, pal. Uh, Goulet. Oh, no, that ain't happening, Jack. That ain't happening, Jack. I'll just do this little stretch. Okay, and they're coming this way. Following Start following. Them and they're like, why the fuck is there a shadow? Right, right. Uh, and then that's when you can kind of come in the clutch. Or gotcha. Whatever. But they come right through here. Okay, and okay. They'll come out here. So we have all of that, and then I get them to basically where, where your, uh, Hut. where you come out. Yeah. Right, okay, so and I'll hang out. Yeah, yeah. I just had a hard time getting out of that thing, and I don't want to look goofy. I, I'm going to be honest. I don't like this. I yeah. put mine down 90% of the time. Do you? Okay. Yes. Okay. That's yeah. cool. I run with the people, so I'm like, I'm not running with my Yeah, people. I'm not going to have this with me. Right. I okay. I the whole, like, sacrifice thing to you, so I just beg the guys to let go of the girls, okay. and I chase after the guys. Okay. So, Sounds wonderful. Thank you so much, fun. Becca. I'm nervous. But I'll tell you what, all these people are helping me out, and that's obviously one of the best parts about Red Bane is that team kind of tendency of working together. Like Ryan said at the beginning thing, you got my back, I got your back, I got your fucking back. So, we're going to scare some people. I'm going to do my goddamn best. We're going to see how this goes. So, hopefully I can jump out. I can't jump out through the doors. I think this is going to cause me to look goofy, and I don't want to be Mel Brooks. I want to be scary. I want to be spooky. Fuck it, spooky. So here we go. We're going to do it. How's it? Uh, how's it feel compared to? Uh, how's it feel compared to wrestling? 
it eerily has a similar kind of feel of that belly nervousness especially the difference is is that you know wrestling predetermine some stuff work how much of the match there's nothing i can predetermine here besides the lines they gave me and hopefully i could scare somebody hopefully I could get somebody. Oh, yeah, I could see fucking back out there. Okay. But comparably similar but different. What are you going to do tonight? Huh? What are you going to do tonight? <laughs> I'm going to boo someone and hopefully it scares them. Hopefully. I have some lines. I have lines to deliver. But you're going with the classic boo? I might go with boo. Or hear yeah, me you're out. Ryan <laughs> What do you think? Are you gonna go with a boo ha ha? Boo ha on that thing. Boo ha ha. You know what? Or like 1990s like scare like. Our king and queen paved the way for the celestial lords. <laughs> Your sacrifice will protect us from the great apocalypse. Yes, look at that, the sacrifice. <laughs> and you shall be one too. Yes, go, child through there. You, my queen, you could be the sacrifice. Shield us. Shield us from the great apocalypse. No. No, you may not run. You must go. Shield us from the great apocalypse. I'm ready. Yeah, you are. Yeah, he's running. You go with. Yes. Oh, our queen and king led us to this. Oh, the great apocalypse is upon us. Your sacrifice will shield us. And we shall dance in the flames. And watch this world burn. Go. Sacrifice yourself. It is tremendous no cap. Yes. Who are you? The queen? My queen. Yes. Yes, good Lord. Good night. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you scared me. Go, 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 go. is exactly what we need. Yeah. Yes. Hey, Jesus, buddy. I need you. I need you to go in here. Save us with your sacrifice. Shield us from the great apocalypse. Save us. No. No. Sweating like a whore in a hut. Am I right? Jesus. Kid told me I needed Jesus. Fuck you, kid. You need Jesus. My Lord's real. Yours is a pretend superhero. <sighs> oh, our king and queen paved the way for the great celestials. Your sacrifice will shield us from the great apocalypse. Thank you for your service. <laughs> right now, oh, it's most fun I've had in a very long time. The improv of it, 
the the kind of trying to stick to the story but also doing your own thing very fun i'm enjoying being the creepy guy that doesn't scare you but i sure shit are making people laugh <laughs> but there has been a couple of good booze i've helped out becca getting some good scares so so far so good i'm loving it i love it oh you've been marked you shall be the great sacrifice and this world will burn and I shall dance on the lights of the flame. Thank you. You're all oh, high five. Tremendous. Oh, hi. How are you doing? You shall be the sacrifice. You have been marked. You will protect us from the great apocalypse. Stop. I hate you bitches. These are our sacrifice, not the B word. Thank you guys. Get out of here. Oh, yes. The celestials will save you. Be gone, child. <laughs> bitches, you know? Jesus Christ, the language these kids have. Oh, show sure all my goddamn workout watch, you know what I mean? Mm. That's right, the Magi's got a fucking Apple Watch. Deal with it. Pave the way for celestial lords. Come on, my lord. I hear the lords. They come, they come to be scary. Oh. Papa Magi, Papa Magi, motherfucker, come on, take it. Fucking Magi, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Oh, please, you, 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 her, her, sacrifice, me, him, sacrifice. Yes, you. No, no, it is Why you. Is it me? Why is it me? Ah! Because okay. our celestial okay. lords. Ha ha ha! ha, ha, ha. <laughs> How? Why are we laughing? I don't know. Continue <laughs> to your sacrifice. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I will be shielded. No, no. I picked you. You're it. Tag. Get in there. Get in there, I'm gonna dance on your burning world. <laughs> Nailed it, Deb. All right. Yes. Yes, our queen with her flock. Our king with fur and teeth. Pave the way for celestial lords. Your sacrifice will shield me from the great apocalypse. Oh! And as your world burns, I shall dance on the flames in the light. Oh, now Enter! Now we're going to be midsummer. Oh, it's going to get freaky. <laughs> I'm talking all kinds of origin. Get in there. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. No. Oh. Yeah, yes, a sacrifice. Yes, your sacrifice will pave the way for my apocalypse. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> Please, through, yes, the celestial lords await for your sacrifice. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Your sacrifice will bring the celestial lords and shield us from the great apocalypse. Come, come this way. Yes, as your world burns, I'm going to dance all over this bitch like a two-step. All right, continue through there. You will be a sacrifice. You will be a sacrifice. 
Everybody's a sacrifice! Yes, yes. Why you laugh? What's nervous, so funny? Nervous giggle. Nervous giggle. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I understand. I get the nervous toots. Yes. Go. Go. Yes. Yes. More lambs. More lambs. Come. You are welcome to the sacrifice. It will shield me as the celestial lords come to your world and we watch it burn, baby. You burn! Like the beast. What? Yeah. You look, you like look wonderful. I'm the magi. Thank you. <laughs> Continue. You will be the last to watch the sacrifice. You get to watch the world burn as I do. Good evening. Detroit, you're on. Yeah. Yes, Queen! Yes. 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 Got her again. Through there. Your sacrifice awaits. Oh. Why are you holding on to him so tightly? Why do you Because you're scared. The sacrifice is scary. Say hi to Ted. Ah. Uh, who are you? Yeah, uh, I got a blood. Oh, you have been marked. You are a special too. sacrifice. Yeah, let's go. Yes, it's in here. The celestial beings thank you for your death. As I will be protected by the apocalypse and dance on your burning world. You shall be dead I with think this everyone you love. I think you've been here for four or five years or plus, haven't you? First night. Really? Yes. Oh, shit. Enter. Say hi to Anthony. What up, bruh? Deuces, no cap. Yes, yes, more. More lambs, more lambs. Sacrifices. Can I take a picture with you? I don't, I, whatever, I don't care. You know, you do what you gotta do. Get in here! The sacrifice. Only if Gunny's in here. No! Gunny! No. Is it satanic? Yes, <laughs> very. Oh, who are you? What is your name? Ooh. What is your name? My name? You've been marked. My name? <laughs> Tom. Tom? <laughs> it's a different age these days, you know I what know, I mean? Right? Don't get sacrificed, crazy kids. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Thank you. So you'll still see some remnants? Yeah, I'm sure. That's but fine. It's the beard. Oh, your chin's like so red. Is it? Yeah. Oh, probably because of the thing that was on it. Yeah. I scare. I scare act. I'm a scare actor. Oh, God. Ahoy. Okay, that's good enough. What are you doing? What are we talking about? What, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I did my scare acting. Um, a ball. And you want me to back up? Okay, you're good. All right. So it's wild from a standpoint of doing the show where we have talked about, you know, give it up for the scare actors because of what they've gone through. And this is being the only night that I've ever done it. Literally horror stories happened in there. Like I was teamed with Becca, who's amazing. And she's like a hundred pounds soaking wet. And this guy came up to her and like, was like, I'm gonna throw you. And it's like, you don't think that you're going to see it, and then you see it, and that's wild. And he got um, he got reprimanded, which is cool. But other than that, the scares were fun. I, I didn't think I was doing enough scaring. Like I think I came off creepy, and I think that really unsettled people. But as Matt knows, as everybody knows, I lean into comedy a lot. So that was a crutch of mine today. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We won't know until you watch yourself. Um, but there were a few times that I really got into the groove of horrifying a few people near the middle end, and that worked out for me. So I had an absolutely amazing time. I didn't take a break because oh, your boy don't take breaks. Your boy just does the haunt all night long. That's why I'm the Iron Magi. Everybody knows this. But um, 
This was fun. I had an absolute blast. I'm very thankful for Red Vane for having me. Uh, Red Vane for us to document this for Spooktacular. And it'll be an experience that I'll never forget. So Will more on that. Will you do it again? I don't do two shows, babe. Okay. Just one. Just one show. So, but that's more later. You know what I mean? I got kids. I got kids, Matt. I got kids. And I'm I love it because if I just keep rolling, you know, we'll just keep going. Well, I'm just going to keep talking. There's a camera in front of my face, Matt. I can't stop talking to the camera, Matt. I'm going to keep going and keep talking, Matt. Turn around and run into the darkness. <laughs> there it is! There it is! <laughs> What a time, what a time indeed. Wowie, wowie. Uh, I want to give a big thank you yes. for Red Vane for having us. Like, for can't you. believe, can't believe you allowed <laughs> me to be a part of your family. I'm a part of the Red Vane army now. Sorry, I'm a part of it. Can't, can't help you. Um, I love having this shirt because I've worked it now. Yeah. And it has a little more of a sentiment in my life. Yeah. Um, I want to thank Matt Wade. Matt Wade, you were going through so much that night filming. People will never Sweating. understand yourself. <laughs> like if someone could film him. Oh my God. Just from all the tight spaces he had to go through, all the just getting so much B-roll footage, uh, asking the questions, like helping me out because like. He made a new, um, a new path. Yeah. In the corn. Yeah, he did. Um, <laughs> to get out. I'd like to thank Brooke because Brooke, by my side, I said it very briefly in it that I went three hours trip. It's true. Red Vane's only 90 minutes from us. We were stuck in mm -hmm. traffic because tunnel stoppage yeah. and accidents yeah. for a good two hours. So I'd like to thank Brooke because you, you were coming in support and just mm -hmm. doing your thing. Yeah. But very, very much so. Thank you so much for being there for me. So, Red Vane, Ryan, Kitty, the entire gang there. Um, Matt, once again, Brooke, everybody, thank you, thank you. Um, what a time. Yeah. Like, looking at it after the fact. Yeah. So, do you find it, oh, Matt said, uh, I never made it out of the corn, still there. Still there. Not yeah. surprised. God damn, Matt, you got great Wi-Fi. You great. know, great <laughs> Wi-Fi. Make sure you check out Matt's channel, uh, Theme Park uh, News Network. Not uh, so many us. Theme Park News Network. Check he it out. He also did the ranking with us as well. He did. He's mm -hmm. in the ranking episode. He actually just put out his own solo ranking. Yes. So he, I'm sure he has more to say yeah. about HHN houses. So what were you going to say? I was going to say, um, I feel like it probably was a very surreal, like taking it all in. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like, being able to watch it back and seeing, like, what did that feel like? Being able to see, because you went through a lot of emotions throughout. Mm -hmm. Right, the, right. From beginning to end, even while you were scare acting. How, yeah. Like, how did that, yeah, like, no, being able you, to see you it back? Could see me getting petrified and shaking mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Like, looking back, I know, weirdly, it's one of those times where, like, and it is fresher, so it's easy to say, but, like, I know where my head at is my head's at every single portion yeah. of that. So when I was freaking out, it's because when I went in there, I knew it was going to be official. The reason yeah. why Red Vane was a big choice for me to do it is because they do put such a production on, mm -hmm. not just through the house you go through, but the behind the scenes stuff you do. So when I got there and they're like, Go to the changing room. Go to the makeup room. Uh -huh. Go try this on. They had me email someone uh, the Your week before my measurements to make sure I could fit in costumes. Like, right. this is bizarre they, to me. Well, they take it very seriously. As they, they should. They put on a production um, um, and, and go through those routes. So, fun fact, um, and you can see it. You kind of mentioned it. Uh, Matt came out at one point while you were getting some makeup done and... He was talking and I was like, listen, uh, as long as we don't hit the part where Zach gets like super serious, <laughs> then uh, we're good. So like the mm -hmm. playfulness, like as much as he's being like, we're, we're hitting it. We're, we're doing great. And he right. looked at me and goes, 
Yeah, so that just happened. Yeah. Um, Zach got real serious. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. All right. (laughs) I got this. Thank thank you for letting me know. Like, I knew, you know, the ways to get you back in it. But, I mean, watching it, like, you were cracking me up. I'm not even going to lie. Like, cracking me up. And I think that you led into uh, your strength of that humor, horror, playing around type thing. Um, Do you... Feel like it was easy to see the ones that like oh, to, were to scare. Like to scare, yes. They're they're like were there points about. when you were like watching people go through? You're like, yep, that's my wife. Right. I got it. Got Brooke. it. Yeah, know target, what I'm doing. Target Brooke. The kind of hard part, the real annoying part, is when you get the group that every single one of them fucking bows up, and it's just like that's when those bits that you heard mm-hmm. of just straight comedy because there's no way I'm going to get through to them via scaring them. Now, if I can find something, and I've said it like in the video, Becca, Becca is an amazing scare actor because she hid in places you could not see her. Uh And one of the things that I enjoy doing is like I was setting them up, like I would put myself at center. So when you were coming, your eyes were on me. And then Becca, I was the distraction when Mm -hmm. Becca came in and just start rocking shop, just scaring people. So those kind of things were interesting. I got two great scares that night. One guy didn't see me at all because I was in front of my fucking Magi hut. Uh, I pay all my property taxes to. <laughs> um, but I'm just standing there in the shadows and he's actually turned looking at Becca because she's doing some creepy ground shit. Mm-hmm. And then I'm slowly walking out. And when he turned, he just... Full thing, whoa, 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 and yeah, like no, jump I, back. Fun fact is like that guy when he came out, I heard him talking about you because he was like, "Damn, let me know." And the guy, somebody else that was in the party was like, "Bro, you got got." He's like, "Yeah, yeah, I got got. I did that." Whoa, 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 whoa. like legit. Right. And when we were talking, you were like, when you told me that had happened, I was like, "I saw that guy. Saw that he guy. was talking about you." <laughs> um, did you do the brook? I know you. I know him. <laughs> What did Matt say? I probably could have cut that down so much, but I'm too much of a Zach stand. Oh, we know. No, honestly, I think that the the reason why I love that doc and how good it looks yeah. is because it's one thing to say, I'm going to scare act for mm-hmm. a night. I'm out there four hours. Yeah. You only saw 30 minutes, not yeah. even 30 minutes. You saw 15 minutes yeah. of me doing it. And I will say it was... You needed to be there for it all of it. It was closer <laughs> to the beginning. So mm-hmm. it wasn't even towards the end where I feel like there's got to be some like delirium like yeah. setting in and, yeah. and craziness. Yeah. Um, what do you think was the hardest aspect of scare acting? Hardest part of scare acting? Yeah. I mean... <sighs> It's weird because, like, I didn't take break. I didn't take a break. Right. So I just kept going. So being on my feet Mm -hmm. wasn't as hard. But because I'm talking so much, and this is such a great thing that they do. They have directors and managers walking Mm. throughout all Mm -hmm. night. So I had two people coming through. And I'm sorry, time has passed and my name game is horrible. But, um, and maybe Matt remembers the names because of is it Jody? I think it's Jody. Jody was walking around asking if I was okay all night. Mm -hmm. And when we got halfway through the night, Becca was saying that her throat was starting to hurt. She was going to ask for um, cough drops. Yeah. And she brought cough drops for her and me. So I had cough drops for the night. And then um, we had water all night long. Anytime we needed water, we got, and I was, I was pounding those fucking things down. I bet. All night long. I so, mean, you had a lot. On, but like the hardest players. is more, yeah, I mean, the heat, the hardest is just being the persona because you, for me, and I got this way near the end because I wanted to make sure I wasn't, you can't get lazy. Yeah. Like at the beginning, I'm having so much fun. I'm doing it. But there is a point where it's just like. I got to make sure I'm giving our four people the same fucking treatment I gave our one. Right. So I have to, each time there was a wave, I had to knock it in. So that's the hardest part. Near the end, trying to be our one good. 
That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, okay, I think uh, it was Kyle. Kyle, yeah, yeah. Woo! Why isn't it showing it? I don't know. Maybe it show. is. I did click show. I showed it. There you go. I think it was Kyle, but everyone is so scary. <laughs> I can't look directly at him. This True. is fair. But I think those are the two. And also, Becca, big thanks to her because like she was, oh, I do this, I do that, and mm -hmm. this. So the thing about Red Vein, they will always, every single goddamn one of them are teammates. So even like in the line, the yeah, person who played yeah. my and gave me hints. Yeah. Like, there's just so much teamwork. There's no one trying to take your spot or, or trying over, to overpower or overpower or trying to make you look bad. Yeah. The very goal fair. is to haunt these mother suckers and we're going to do it. How did you feel about having lines? Like, were you prepared? I already know somewhat of the answer for this, but were you prepared for the amount of lines? I had? say it in the video. I expected a thing to come okay. down and me to go boom. <laughs> Why are you giving me character lines? I have a name. And even you have them were like, oh yeah, you're the Cold Hut Magi. Come up with your own name though. Why? Here's I'm the Cold Hut Magi. <laughs> That's my name. Here's what I will say though. Like you, your character mm -hmm. and your, um, your energy. Mm-hmm. Did I got the riz. so well for that character. Yeah. Um, because we do end up going through the haunted house and yes. being able to see your whole area because yeah. when you were back there during this aspect, I didn't see you that entire time. Actually, no. I did my nails. I was rocking it. Uh, Just enjoying your I was, best I was life. enjoying my best life. And then I was people watching like a champ. So oh. I was in heaven. Oh yeah. Don't trust you me. Um, and bothering Kitty left and right. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, <laughs> No, it was great. But being able to like see your whole area, yeah, I was really impressed because you had a very open area. Yeah, that was the best part about it. Like there was a lot of uh, um, area to move around and ability right. to use the space. Yeah, but there was I um and uh, from the video you can kind of see like Matt was in. The hut the area, hut. but I feel like you were kind of right, and I kind of heard you say it. Like me jumping out of this, I feel like I'm gonna I'll get look caught. Like an idiot. I got caught drinking water multiple times Did with you? this thing, Jesus and I was like, Christ. "Could you imagine just me coming out <laughs> and the mask like flies up? <laughs> <laughs> and then I have to run back. Fuck that. Fuck that. Okay, I'm not about that. Oh my god, I love you so much. Uh, um, you just brought it up, and I think we should move on again. Wonderful time. Thanks for watching. I have footage. one more question. Oh, one more. Never one mind. more question. You ready? Yep. What it did your perception or level of respect change mm -hmm. for the scare actors after doing one million percent? One million percent. I mean, we talk it all the time that you know we we watch videos. Mm -hmm. I mean, we watch vloggers. We see these things because of the show that we're in. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest things that all these influencers and vloggers put out there is like the scare actors, the scare actors. You have no fucking idea what you're talking about yeah. until you walk the shoes or live somewhat in the shoes. Mm -hmm. Like and you, you only see did it for one I night. saw it. I only did it for one night. Like and I say in the video, she got harassed hour one. I thought I thought this would be a thing maybe I would see, but the fact that it was immediately something that happened, that a drunk a-hole comes up and thinks that they can just be a shit stain to someone is remarkable to me. And you can sit here and read your little things about it and be like, oh, the scare actors, the scare actors. But the fact is, is that you will never understand it until you're near that source in some way and some way. Right. And I really appreciate the fact that we are friends with scare actors. Mm -hmm. We are, we did it with this event and it. Yeah. it's just, it's I was remarkable. Asked, Kitty so, asked me to what? be a scare actor. And yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Kitty, let's be real. What would happen? Can you imagine? Get me wrecked. As, no, no. <laughs> Somebody coming through and them coming around. I would scream. Like, right. they would no, scare me. It would be a constant. You would, you would be in the corner. I'm going to come out. I'm going to go do it. 
I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get her. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna jump go. out. Yeah, yeah. And then you both <laughs> run <laughs> opposite it ways. Would, it would be so bad. It would be the most like 1990s kid movie oh I've ever God. seen. It's Casper. It would have been like Casper the Ghost. Yeah, scene. Christina yeah, it Ricci. Been so bad. Um, oh my God. And I think that that was where my level came in. I was like, yeah. I respect your property way <laughs> too much. I understand. To go that route. And I can't imagine, like, and we had talked about it, like, where you were, because they were like, you want to come back next tomorrow? You mm-hmm. can do it again tomorrow. And you're like, ha, ha. <laughs> no. <laughs> one show. Daddy only does yeah. one show. 